What would you do if you were locked up inside a small cage and couldn't get out? I'm sure you wouldn't like it, but this is a sad reality for many animals, and this is not an acceptable way to treat them. My name is Maya, and I have had many animals myself, so I know how my animals being in a small cage can affect them, and it can be harmful to them. The purpose of this speech is to get you to be against caging animals. I will now talk with you about three main points. Why people might cage animals, how caging animals can affect them, and why I feel strongly about this. People might cage animals because they are not educated about the animal's natural habitat or aware of its well-being. People might also do this because they are afraid the animal will run away. Since I just talked with you about why people might do this, I will now talk with you about how this can affect animals. This can cause physical and emotional distress. The animal can become weak and not get enough exercise in a tight space. The animal can become anxious, nervous, and depressed. They can also get very aggressive and feel isolated. I just talked with you about how caging animals can affect them. I will now finally talk with you about why I feel strongly about caging animals. I feel strongly about caging animals because I think no animal should go through the suffering of being through being trapped in a small cage. Imagine being stuck in a tight space only being able to eat when someone gives you food instead of being able to get it any time. Today I talked with you about why people might cage animals, how caging animals can affect them, and finally why I feel strongly about this. Now you know that caging animals is wrong, will you consider keeping animals in open spaces?